Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the Tsukiyo Me Gang channel. I am Melly, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do an expression shake. Expression shake is a type of shake that uses After Effects expression tool, which looks a bit confusing, but it's actually not. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can hit 10k subscribers as soon as we can. So let's get started. And yeah, I forgot to mention that you will have this uh, expression down in the description so you can download it and use it. Okay, as you can see, I have my clip ready. And the first thing that we need to do is to add motion tile to our clip so we have so we don't have like black borders. So we're just gonna add it and you should just copy my settings. Let's bring up this to 300, and this one too, and check mirror edges option. So when you did that, the next thing we're gonna do, we need to actually do the expression shake. And you can actually do it for anything. You can use the script uh, expression for any uh, anything that can be uh, animated in After Effects. But I'm going to teach you like the four basic uh, methods that can be used for shakes. And the first one we're gonna use it for the exposition, and they all basically all work the same. I'm gonna show you like one by one, but you'll you'll get it. Uh, we gotta hold ALT and click on the stopwatch for exposition and we're going to paste the expression that I gave just control V and as you can see it's here just copy it and then place a keyframe for exposition and move this uh, Move this clip one frame forward and just change this uh, value to like uh, lower or, or higher. I'm gonna make it like a nine, 950. And as you can see, we got a little shake right there. And it looks clean, very clean for every type of edits. And you can always increase or decrease the amount and maybe even put like three frames just make sure the the last frame is the normal value and we can like turn this up and the shake is like a bit harder now and faster but we're gonna just use two keyframes for now and as you can see that was it for the X position shake um, the next thing we're gonna do it for Y position and it's it's basically the same just hold alt and click on the stopwatch paste the expression move clip one key one keyframe forward place a keyframe go back one frame and just increase or just decrease this amount and we get a nice shake yeah Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is to do it for scale, and this may sound confusing, but you can do actually you can actually do scale uh, scale shakes, and that's basically like a bouncy scale shake. Hold Alt, paste it, one frame forward, place a keyframe, go back one frame, and just increase or decrease the, the amount. Just make sure every time your last keyframe is like a uh, resetted value for, for for that okay and you can like increase or decrease this I'm gonna increase it and as you can see you get a, like a nice bouncy scale shake and you can even maybe decrease this on the first frame it can look nice as well and it's a very useful tool for for shakes. Now the next one, and in my opinion, the best one is the for the rotation expression shake. So just close this, open rotation, paste it, and do the same thing as for every other option. Press keyframe, and don't increase it this too much because if you do. Like on 20, this is gonna happen, and th this is not good because the motion tile is too visible. 
So you gotta make it like lower, like a, maybe three. And it's gonna be very good, like tilt, shake, rotation, shake, whatever, whatever you call it. And yeah, that's basically it. But I forgot to mention that you can actually mix some of these. Like you do a rotation shake uh, together with uh, maybe scale, and that is actually very, very good. So you just place a keyframe for scale as well. Let's decrease it. And you get a like a nice uh, scale shake, but it has rotation in it as well. And you can even do other things like uh, Y position, and it's also going to look somehow nice. But I don't recommend to mix uh, like uh, more than two of these uh, values. So. I think that's it for this tutorial, hope you make some clean shakes, and that's it for this tutorial, see you.